Ravi Madhu's cooking is all about inspiring everyone to cook delicious cuisines at home. Before proceeding further to watch this video, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. Don't forget to touch the bell button besides it so as to enable automatic notification of every new cooking video. Also like the video after watching it if you really like it. Click on description button below or if you are watching it on laptop, touch the show more button at bottom of description column to find the list of ingredients and detailed recipe text. Today we are making Kachori Fata Fat or Karari Alo Ki Sabza that is instant Kachori and spicy potato curry. Puri and Kachori are among most popular celebrating foods in India, especially in North India, no festival or celebration is complete without serving these delicious Indian delights at breakfast or lunch or at dinner. We are explaining today a recipe to prepare a hybrid of Puri and Kachori which is very easy and quick to prepare. You may call this recipe a fusion of Punjab and Uttar Pradesh recipes. These instant kachoris are made using split skinless black lentils, that is wadi. Wadi has been used instead of traditional dal ki piti to make these instant kachoris. We have already explained the recipe of bidet and alo ki sabza which is another popular variety of Indian fried flat breads. We are giving the link of video below in description box for that great and popular street food of Brill region that is Agra and Madara. To make dough for these instant kachoris, take one or one and a half or to taste urad dal ki wadi that is split skinless black lentils spicy dumpling. Break wadis coarsely and place into your grinder jar. Grind wadi into fine powder. Take one cup wheat flour in your parrot or large bowl. Add one fourth teaspoon ashwain that is carom seeds, one fourth teaspoon or to taste salt, and ground wadi powder into flour. Also add two or three tablespoon cooking oil or ghee into it. Mix with hands while sorting out any big chunks of wadi. Mix until crumbly then start adding very little amount of water into flour mixture and knead. Add minimum amount of water required to knead tight dough. Knead tight dough just like you knead for puris. Knead for 4 to 5 minutes or until tight but smooth dough is obtained. Apply little cooking oil all around the dough and keep aside in a bowl. Covered for 15 to 20 minutes. In the meanwhile when dough is resting. Prepare Karari Alo Ki Sabza that is spicy potato curry. Peel 3 or 4 pre-boiled medium-sized potatoes. Remove skin completely. Then mash or break all peeled potatoes coarsely. Keep aside. Now cut 3 or 4 medium-sized fresh tomatoes into coarse chunks and add into your grinder or blender jar. Grind until smooth puree. Now put a pan over medium heat with 2 or 3 tablespoon cooking oil or ghee in it. Add a pinch or to taste of hing that is asafoetida, 1 half teaspoon jeera that is cumin seeds into oil or ghee, and when cumin starts crackling add freshly pureed tomatoes into it. Rinse jar with little water and pour into pan. Stir to mix and bring to a boil. Simmer at medium heat while stirring occasionally for 4 to 6 minutes. Chop and add 1 or 2 fresh green chilies into boiling tomato puree. Adding green chilies is absolutely optional and you may omit it. Simmer until rawness of tomatoes is gone and very little liquid is left in the pan. Now add 1 half teaspoon haldi powder that is ground turmeric powder, 1 half teaspoon or to taste red chili powder, 2 teaspoon dhania powder that is ground coriander seeds, 3 fourths teaspoon or to taste salt and 1 third teaspoon garam masala into pan. We will be adding more garam masala after curry is cooked stir and saute for two minutes or until grease is released from masala mixture now add boiled peeled and coarsely mashed potatoes into pan stir to mix well then pour one and a half to two cups of water into it amount of water depends upon desired consistency of gravy simmer while stirring occasionally for two to three minutes now stir in one teaspoon crumbled kasari methi that is dried fenugreek leaves and two third teaspoon or to taste garam masala stir to Mix, taste, and adjust the seasonings now. Add whatever is required according to your taste. If curry is not tangy up to your liking then you may add some amchur powder that is dried raw mango powder into curry. Simmer finally for a minute then turn off the heat or remove pan from heat. Now put a wok over medium heat with enough cooking oil in it for deep frying. Dough has also rested for enough time by now. Knead it again for 2 to 3 minutes and break large lemon size roundels of it. Just like. You make for puris. 
Lightly grease your rolling plate or board with cooking oil and roll each dough ball just like you roll for puris and keep aside for a while. Roll puris or kachoris with all broken dough balls. Carefully place one kachori or puri into hot oil or ghee. Fry while pouring oil over it from sides. Fry until well puffed, flip it onto other side and fry until golden on both sides. Drain golden fried kachori or puri onto paper towel or tissue lined plate and place another rolled puri or kachori into hot oil. Fry in the same manner until well puffed and golden on both sides. We are explaining here a little trick to puff all. Kachoris without fail. Just place the rolled puri or kachori into hot oil and immediately after 2 to 3 seconds flip it onto other side, then fry while pressing gently with perforated spatula, you may get all of kachoris or puris well puffed and evenly golden on both sides, fry as per your immediate requirement in one go and refrigerate remaining dough covered until required until next lot to be served. Serve delicious kachori fata fat that is instant kachori along with hot and spicy alo ki sabza that is spicy potato curry with gravy, garnished with chopped fresh cilantro or green coriander and enjoy. We hope that you have liked the recipe, please click the like button below and write your views in comments column for sure, your feedback is really very important for us, thanks.